The Republican National Committee says that eight candidates have met their criteria to participate in the first presidential primary debate coming up tomorrow night in Milwaukee. But the frontrunner, former President Trump, says he will not be there. He's expected to surrender to authorities in Atlanta on Thursday. Our D.C. Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy is live at the White House following it all for us. Ben. Nicole and Calvin, this is former President Trump's fourth indictment. This time around, he faces new rules under a bond agreement. In the meantime, his former lawyer had his time in jail moments ago. Former Trump attorney John Eastman booked to the Fulton County Jail Tuesday, one of 19 co-defendants indicted in Georgia for their alleged efforts to overturn the 2020 election. My legal team and I will vigorously contest every count of the indictment in which I have been named. Eastman faces nine criminal counts, including racketeering, conspiracy to commit forgery, and filing false documents. As the indictment outlines how he pushed to put in place a slate of alternate electors falsely certifying that Trump won, and even tried to pressure then-Vice President Mike Pence to reject or delay the counting of electoral votes for Biden. The attempt to criminalize our rights to such redress with this indictment will have and is already having profound consequences for our system of justice. It comes two days before former President Donald Trump is set to surrender under a $200,000 bond agreement. Under the terms, Trump will make no direct or indirect threat of any nature against any witness. That includes social media posts or even reposts made by others. Meanwhile, Trump's 2024 Republican presidential rivals will face off without him at the first GOP debate Wednesday after the former commander chief announced he'll skip the event. It's in Milwaukee. The RNC released a list of eight candidates that qualified, including former VP Mike Pence, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, South Carolina Senator Tim Scott, and former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley. And not on the list is Miami Mayor Francis Suarez. He did release a statement moments ago saying he did not qualify due to a polling requirement. Reporting live at the White House, Ben Kennedy, Local 10 News. Okay, Ben, thank you.